Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Hell Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you've seen and if you want to see more. Coming up, Storm Captain steps into the COVID lamp minefield. Mikhail signs New Deal at Leeds. And extended deal also for Harry Newman at Leeds until 2024. So we begin today with the Leeds Rhinos as they've uh, signed up highly rated centre Harry Newman uh, to a pledge in his future to the Rhinos after exploring his options in Australia and rugby union. 21 year old who had one year left on his contract had agreed a three year deal keeping him at Headingley until at least the end of 2024. Coach uh, Richard Agar said Harry is an exceptional talent and he's highly regarded and motivated to reach his high ambitions. It's fair to say he is one of the most sought after players in both codes of World Rugby and to secure him on a long term deal is great news for the Rhinos and Harry. There is still a lot of development in him. His rise has been rapid but we all believe there is still huge potential for Harry to grow. Newman has become a mainstay in the, of the Rhinos team since making his debut as a teenager in 2017 and recovered from a double leg fracture to earn a call up to Sean Wayne's England squad for the test match against France last October. He said it's a stressful few weeks trying to get it all sorted out but I'm absolutely delighted to secure my future for the next three years. I finally know what I'm going to do and I feel really settled here. I'm ready to kick on. My injury did make me think long and hard about what the best next move for me was. It made me realise that this is a short career and I it can be over so quickly, so I took my time with my decision. I had a year left anyway, and I did explore options in the NRL and also Rugby Union as well, but I'm delighted to stay here. I've been here since I was 14, so to secure these next three years has really made me happy. Newman, who has followed uh, fellow teammates Tom Holroyd and Richie Myler in signing new long-term deals at Leeds, is now setting his sight on the delayed Rugby League World Cup in 2022, and said he, is building, he has set his mind on that goal of reaching the World Cup and has building towards it since the, well, for the last few years. Leeds have continued their uh, retention kick as Leeds and England front rower Mikhail Jeletsky has become the latest player to commit his future to the Rhinos, agreeing a four year deal uh, that will keep him at Headingley until at least the end of 2025. Poland born Oletsky, who's 23 years old, played for England against the Combined Nations All Stars in June and made his test debut against France in October and has played 82 games for Leeds Rhino since making his debut also in 2017 and was a Challenge Cup winner in 2020. His Leeds coach Richard Agar said Mick thoroughly deserves this new contract as the, a club we have a policy of rewarding success and Mick's form over the last two years certainly warrants that. He has become one of the leading forwards in Super League, earning a place in the England side, and is at the core of our senior players and performers here at the Rhinos, on a consistent basis which has secured his status in the game. Boletsky, who followed three teammates in signing new long-term deals, was born in Gdansk and moved with his parents to England at age nine. He is only the second pole to play in Super League after Rugby Union forward Gregor's Kakala uh, uh, briefly switched to Rugby League with Paris Saint-Germain in 1996. On the deal, Olitsky said, I'm really happy to have got the deal over the line. However, the decision was pretty easy for me. For the last few years, I've really enjoyed going through the process we have been through as a squad 
as our squad has transitioned. We have signed a lot of great players to complement the, the, the young lads coming through and I'm really enjoying being part of that building process. I've been here since I was a junior. I really enjoyed my time and I'm really excited about what the next four years will bring. It was an important decision for me and my family as well. We love living in and around Leeds. It's a great city, a great family friendly club. And finally today, Nelson Asofa of Salomona's future with the Melbourne Storm looks increasingly bleak after the top giant prop uh, cut contact with Storm skipper Jesse Bromwich. Asafa Salomona is the sole Melbourne NRL player refusing a COVID vaccination, meaning that he was unable to return to pre-season training with the rest of the senior players this week. Under Victorian government health orders, professional athletes must be double vaxxed to access venues such as the Storm's home ground at AAMI Park. While the Kiwi Giants is going is doing a club issued home based gym program, hopes are fading he will get double jabbed and be fit in time to play in round one during early March. His club captain and, and test teammate said he had tried to talk to, um, I will call him Nas, as that's what Jesse Bramage calls him, uh, who has been one of the most their most damaging uh, front row forwards. I've been hopeful that Nas will come back, and as he is a powerful man and a big part of our team, Bramage said on Friday. A lot of us boys care deeply for him and I've tried reaching out to him, but I didn't get anything back. I know he's got his beliefs around the vaccination and it's up to him, but we really need him to come back, so hopefully the matter resolves itself soon. I just don't like this awkwardness between us. I'm very close with him, so hopefully we can get it sorted soon. After Dale Fanukan was shifted to Cronulla uh, with Tui Kami Kamaki, uh, Kamika, Kami Kamika in a legal trouble, losing another forward by cutting Asaf Asofa Salomona would be the last resort for the Storm. Canterbury this week parted ways with John Asiata, uh, tearing up the 28 year old's contract after he refused to be vaccinated. Asiata signed with the Bulldogs for the 2022 season after a stint with the Brisbane Broncos, but was handed his termination notice last month with the club requiring all players to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Again, we have to repeat that the NRL does not have a mandate in place for players to be fully vaccinated, unlike Aussie rules football, but Canterbury were firm in their stance. The NRL estimated last month around 20 to 24 people, uh, players were yet to be vaccinated in the NRL, which is too many. It's too many. Uh, yes, everyone has the right to deny the vaccine and the healthcare that they wish to take. But it's taking money out of the pockets of their teammates for not playing, not playing to the full standard that the squad can be. The team, the shareholders, the fans that pay the money. It goes on and on and on. <gasps> and Victoria, as a state, has one of the strictest rules probably on the planet when it comes to COVID-19 to keep their economy up and running. Melbourne is a huge city, so if one of the star players at their famous rugby club um, is refusing to get vaccinated, look at the influence that that could make on the younger and impressionable people. As I keep saying with everyone, I hope it does get sorted. He's a talented, massive forward. And if it keeps going like this, it'll miss out on the World Cup as well. It 
it's an interesting dilemma. And I'm a big fan of um, as Nelly from Victoria, as he's uh, uh, Nelly from Auckland. That's it, Nelly from Auckland, <laughs> as his uh, Instagram page calls himself. <sighs> Hopefully, this saga ends soon, in one way or another. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide. Also, ignore that ping. Uh, <laughs> but also, um, remember to share these videos worldwide with everyone so that we can grow our fantastic game. Um, it's all interesting. It's all going off. And hopefully, we can help grow the game in next with next, well, tomorrow's video. As you'll see. Anyway, so tell me, do you think Leeds have done well in retaining the two um, youngsters uh, for the next season? Um, do you think there was anything in Harry Newman going to the NRL or Rugby Union? Um, Mikhail Doletsky, do you think he could be uh, a way into going the game in Poland? Could he be an ambassador that way? I know he's played for England, but a Polish-speaking rugby league player at the top level, playing in a World Cup, could be a way in. Anyway, it's just a thought. That could let him play his rugby league. That's what we should leave him to do. He can be an ambassador if he wants to in the future. Um, and Jesse Bromwich getting involved in the. Uh, Nathan, uh, Nelson Asso for Salomona um, conversation. I know why he wants to get involved. He wants the best players in his team so that his team can win things and be successful. He's being a bit selfish that way, but the rugby league players at the end of the day, they want to win. And he wants to be a winner as well. Plus, with the World Cup coming up, he wants to win that now that. New Zealand had a number one and team. So anyway, tell me in the comments of what your thoughts are of this video. Any other comments that you have. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share, share, share this video worldwide. And also, please stay safe. I'll say all my best to you. And I'll see you in the next video.